I'm going to show you some alternative different ways of doing things. Here's an emergency pinch, here's an original pinch, um, quarter inch pipe. Make sure you size it out. You see that nice big hole? This is what it looks like after you cut it. There's guys who actually use this without even burring it out, and that's an orifice. But um, this is after it's been resized, and as you can see, that has been resized. That's what it looked like when it was cut. And this is quarter inch, so that goes inside there. You now know it's quarter inch, it's the original size. So now you can stick your coupling over there, or you can make your own coupling out of pipe and use your spreader and spread this out. Or you could go up to 5 16 or 3 8 and you could stick this on there. And you could do something like that in an emergency. And you could do a little pinch there. And you could come here and you just grab the corner of it and you just see how I have it pinched off right there? Something like that. You could pinch it off like that. That's what you could do in an emergency. So I'm showing you two different methods of getting you by. But the one thing you don't want hard steps on the inside. So what you'll want to do is if you do the, the larger size, uh, if you're finicky, you may want to flare this out a little bit and so it fits more snug inside and then crimp it up. It's, it's more detailed. I'm going to have to do a very detailed description how to do that without making it a step inside. Now this one here, 5 eighths, half inch. This is OEM and they called for 5 eighths on this one. So here's a flare and you can see I took the half inch and I flared it up. I took the burr off here. I stuck the flare tool just on the inside of the lip. I only came in about an eighth of an inch and that is so when you flared up your half inch it actually hits on the inside and seals. So it'll go in like that and there it stops right there. And it is completely sealed all the way around on the inside but you have a little gap that will be get filled up with your silver braze right there. And this whole area will be silver brazed in solid. You can see where I put the little mark right there and that's for cutting it and then this will get flared and go over to the top. The flow of refrigerant is going in this direction. So by flaring this outside and putting it over there, it will not hit a ridge and it'll go smoothly. It'll go smoothly through the bend. It'll go into where I made the flare on the inside. That's on the inside of this bigger pipe and it'll make a smooth transition without hitting sharp edges that come down and have steps because the refrigerant flow is, this is cooling only application and it always goes in this direction. So it keeps stepping up. Think of shingles on a roof. You put shingles on a roof in one direction because you want water to flow without impedance or going underneath or hitting any steps. Uh, flaring and piping is the same way and it'll be the same on this too. Uh, this, the flow goes in this direction. And that's it on this.